this. Follow me. Lock and load. What we're talking about here is serious military role play with a serious looking weapon and an R18 rating. John Selwood on manoeuvres somewhere. It may look and sound like a real firefight, but in reality it's all make-believe. What you're seeing are big boys and they're rather realistic looking toys. It's called Airsoft, an internationally recognized wargaming sport. If you've never seen or heard of them before, it's probably because Airsoft players tend to keep a fairly low profile. You see, they don't want anyone misunderstanding what they and their guns are all about. The main thing is the sport. I mean, there's teams all over Europe through Asia playing this game. Strip away the camo paint and these are everyday blokes using play fights for fitness and fun. I'm a university student. Everyone plays cowboys and Indians and we're just playing big soldier boys. I'm a branch manager. Today's war game is a base assault. The frontal charge is more for the cameras than any particular strategy. Normally players survive using a mix of stealth and skill. How many yards? How many yards? About 20 yards in front of the base. One on the bush there in a ghillie suit. Moving now. The rules are simple, a minute's time out if you're hit. And once the whole team's been hit, well, it's game over. <laughs> Stop. Stop. So if you get hit by one of those, what, what does that feel like? Uh, it's no worse than getting flicked. Like that? Yeah, like that. <laughs> okay, that hurts a wee bit, but it doesn't draw blood. No. Little shot and semi-automatic airsoft guns are still acceptable. Police say they have no real problems with Airsoft and its players. As for the players, well, they just want a wider acceptance of their chosen sport. Yeah. Yeah, just moving to the right. Got him? Hit! 